Hey, this is Rick and welcome to another project. Um, birds around our home, sometimes we enjoy them, sometimes we don't. And we have these typical type of feeders. These are called tube feeders, tube bird feeders. And the bird lands on this little peg right here and they eat right out of the hole. Now, typically we like these for this type of area in Delaware because we get these big birds, they're called grackles. And they almost look like crows and even some crows. And we like to see the smaller birds uh, like the chickadees and uh, the tip mice and the um, the golden finches. And with this typical type of feeder here, it's a nice design. And this was actually uh, not a real cheap one. It was uh, because it's got brass on top and um, it's got plexiglass and then brass on here and then a brass bottom. And this is nice because you can unscrew it, the top or the bottom to clean it out because um, it gets messy. But what happens is if the seed will fall here and the bigger birds can land on here and they'll pick and they make a mess. They make a mess of your deck. And all. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to copy this a little bit and kind of make my own design. And some of this stuff that I pulled off the internet, I don't remember some of the names, but just looking at some of the pictures that people have done. And I'm going to try to put all that together and, and make up my own design. Because so what I'm going to start with is a piece of uh, schedule 40 PVC, 4 inch, and a 4 inch cap. Now the caps are the most expensive part. I think it's like maybe six, seven dollars. I can't remember offhand. And but you can get a length of this for about eight bucks, and that's like a ten foot length. And you can make maybe you know four or five of these, depending on how big you want to make them. You can make them real tall, or you can make them small, whatever you want. These are little test caps. They're little plastic test caps that you use in the plumbing field, and they're four inch. They're real cheap. I think they're like maybe. 25 cents to 50 cents, not real expensive. Of course, your standard wire ties. Just get the smaller ones because you're going to cut them down anyway. And something to drill a hole with. And a hole saw or uh, what they call a paddle bit. That, and then you're going to need some PVC pipe, one inch. And once again, you can get that in like a 10 foot length. And you can actually buy it in smaller lengths if you don't have a car or truck that will accommodate like a 10 foot length. Or if the store won't cut it in half for you, uh, you can get them in like, I think, one foot pieces or two foot pieces. And probably even the same thing with the four inch. Like I said, the most expensive part about it might be the PVC cap, but that's more decorative. I mean, it will work and function. You're going to be able to take it apart. And, uh, you know, I want to be able to make this thing so I can pull it apart, hose it out in case it gets all messed up, bird droppings or, uh, or the seed gets wet. Um, we're going to try to eliminate that. And then some nylon rope. That's going to be your handle for the top of it. By drilling some holes in here. And then we're going to put some little foot pegs in there which are going to come out. And the bird will be able to stand on them. You're going to cut them off about maybe two inches outside of the PVC pipe. And what that will be is it will be, it'll be weight permitted. The little birds will be able to stand on here. And they'll be able to balance and go ahead and eat. Whereas a big bird will come along and probably won't be able to balance on there will fall off and not be able to feed unless he stays flying. This will actually probably be squirrel proof by the time I get done because they're not going to be able to hang on to this thing in any shape or form to come down and, and get on this because it's going to be slick material and it'll come off. The okay, so I'm going to take my one inch uh, Schedule 40 PVC and I'm going to cut in two inch pieces. It'll be one two, three, four. I probably won't need four. I'm just going to go ahead and cut them since I've got the chop saw out. You can use a regular uh, sawzall or hacksaw to do this. And I'll go ahead and I'll cut those out now. Okay, now that I've cut my little two inch pieces in half, now you can see that they have like a half moon effect. That will go inside the hole that we're going to make and we should be able to squeeze these ends together with pliers and then slide it right in there and then that'll lock right in there. Now we're going to lay out where we're going to put the holes. I've kind of opted to go with a one inch bit now and that'll give me probably like a three quarter opening for small birds. As you can see these are pretty small that's like three quarter so that the small birds will be able to get in there and sit on the pedestal and uh, have their food. Now these lids, like I said, they've got these little P 
pieces of plastic on here that came out of the, when they formed them, I guess. But we can use this to lay out our holes and to get our centers on our holes without having to lay out the pipe on a pie and 360 degrees and all that. Or try to lay out a template. These little tips right here, once you put it on your pipe, you're just going to measure up from them and that will give you your quarter point of your pipe to measure. For example, there's one already on there. And if you see, there's a little point for the mold and it's at a quarter. So we'll measure up where we want to put our hole and we'll go ahead and our drill our, uh, our, our large hole, our feeding hole, where these are going to go in. And I'm going to measure that up to be you want your feed to come down here, so you don't want to really have a lot down here because this is probably not going to be uh, used. So you want to try to get it as close as you can to where they can pick at it, and then it'll feed all the way down there. So I'm going to probably shoot for about two inches, I guess, from the bottom up. And then we'll put our little pedestal uh, right underneath of that so that they can uh, sit there and feed. So I'll measure up two inches, and then I'll come back. All right, so we started drilling the uh, holes in, the feeder holes in with the hole saw and a drill. And that makes pretty good work of it. Probably very difficult to do with one arm here. Like I said, you can do this with a paddle bit or you can do it with a hole saw. And this is a one inch hole saw. Push this hole up. Hopefully that won't drill through my foot. And there you go, a perfect hole. Okay, I'm gonna finish up the rest of these holes and then I'll show you what we do next. Okay, next step. Now we wanna put in the little pedestals. You're gonna to wanna to find yourself the smallest drill bit you can find. I can only had a 332nd here, but you can go a little bit smaller than that. And you wanna drill a hole about an inch to an inch and a quarter from the center of your other hole for the foothold for them to stand on. So you wanna put your drill bit in like that and then rock it side to side which is going to slot it now you see you got a little slot in there as well as a hole now we're going to try to slip our tie in from the other side with the lock part of the tie on the back side and you're going to want about maybe two inches of this sticking out might have to open up just a little bit more but you get the idea Work on it until it slides in. Okay, now as you can see, it's slid in there and it's nice and stiff. It's not moving around. Bird can stand right on there and feed into the hole. All right, I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of them. Okay, all the holes are done now. Put the way it's positioned here. Now I got a, another little tip for you. If you use carbon choke cleaner, that takes off the dye and the permanent marker that you put on there while you were doing your project. Just put a little on there and I, you can see that it's starting to disappear, just the writing on the PVC. And there's the permanent marker. And you see how it's just going right away. Let it sit for a little bit, come back with a rag, clean it up, and we'll go on to the next step. Okay, next step, after we've gone ahead and put in all our little landing pieces in there for the birds, you look down there. You want to drill the holes top and bottom of your caps. Now I'm not going to be able to hold the thing, but I have one of these uh, drill bits that step up. And you just drill a little bit at a time and then try your rope and make sure it's nice and tight. You want it tight, that way the water won't seep into the seed. Because your rope's going to go all the way through to hold it up. Alright, let me go ahead and do that. You slide in your half round pieces and they slid right in, no problem. I'm going to leave them out about a quarter of an inch, gives them a little overhang. Nice appearance. And we'll go ahead and uh, slide our rope through and we'll make a loop at the top and uh, that should be the finished product. And then we'll uh, give it a try and see if the birds like it. Okay, here it is all set up. As you can see, you can paint this. You can get uh, some plastic paint. 
Uh, I think it's Krylon, which is good for plastics. Uh, go to your Home Depot or Lowe's. Okay, that's it. Uh, let me know how you make out. Make sure you leave a little bit of rope at the top so you can pull your cap off and go ahead and put your seat in. Uh, show me your designs. Uh, give me a like, dislike, whatever. Uh, thanks again for watching and please subscribe.